Our mid rep pause is a variation that can be added into pretty much any exercise to focus on the difficulty or increase the difficulty of that exercise. So what that is simply gonna look like is midway through your range of motion on an exercise, you're gonna stop and you're gonna hold that position for a set amount of time. This can be a three count pause, this can be a five count pause, a 10 count pause. So just make sure that you pay attention to the length of that pause. This can also be done on the descent or the ascent of an exercise. So when you're going down or when you're going up, or it can be done on both for extra difficulty. So for instance, what this will look like, I'm gonna demonstrate it on a squat first. Let's say I'm looking through my workout for leg day and it says five count pause on downward motion or on descent or on lowering. So I know that when I'm going down towards the floor, halfway down, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna pause for that set amount of time. So if it's a five count, I'll get in my normal squat position, whether I have a weight against my chest or a barbell on my shoulders, I'm gonna head on down, halfway, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna hold here for a five count. One, two, three, four, and five, and then I'm gonna go the rest of the way down and then back up to the starting position and there is one rep through. Let's say for instance, it says a three count pause going up. So for that one, I'll get in position, I'll squat all the way down to the bottom. On the way up, I'll stop halfway, one, two, three, and then I'll finish it off coming up. What this will look like on a bicep curl, same kind of thing. Let's say for this one, I have a five count hold on the going up and going down. So stand nice and tall, normal bicep curl position. I'll come up halfway, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up, back down halfway, one, two, three, four, five, and then go back to my starting position. There is one rep. So like I said, this can be done on pretty much any exercise, bent over rows, pausing halfway, and then going up. If it's on the ascent or coming up, pausing halfway down, holding, trying to hold that position, and then going the rest of the way down. So look at that exercise that you're doing. Go through that full range of motion a couple times on that exercise so you're comfortable and you remember what that movement looks like. And then you're gonna add in that pause. Whether it's going up, you'll pause halfway through that range of motion. So simply, however far that range of motion is, whether it's a tricep extension, a bicep curl, a shoulder press, halfway through that movement before you get to the top, you'll do that pause for whatever it says, whatever time it is, a three count, so three second, five count, five second, 10 count, 10 second, you'll do that pause. And then you'll decide whether it's going up, so you'll stop on that up. Whether it's going down, you'll stop on that downward motion or whether it is pull. Add this variation into those exercises to really make you focus on your form. This will really make you stop and think about that movement and keep that core tight in order to just hold nice and stiff in that position and add this in to add a little more difficulty to those exercises.